And we are back with the continuation of last week's episode. So tune in as we dive more into Natty and his grow. Ben here and welcome to the podcast where we talk all things growing and smoking, that beautiful herb that elevates our mind, body, and soul. This is Fog and Grow. We talked a lot about that. That was super interesting. We have so fucking much in common. Okay, this is something I wanted to ask you. All right, so you are insanely knowledgeable about just like the, the fact that you're nailing all these different environmental conditions such as like sleep and diet and exercise oh. and like fucking accepting and forgiving yourself. Like you've done a lot yeah, of work in yourself. Of, oh. So like when did that – like so you had this like – 10 ish years where like, you know, your brain, your prefrontal cortex, your decision-making process center isn't like super developed. And so like ADHD is yeah. just like, Boo! It was and just then, go. yeah. But then, <laughs> so when did you start like starting to have awareness over this? And then like, maybe it was the diagnosis as you said. And like, that's kind of what started triggering like all this exploration and trying to just essentially figure the shit out. Right. Yeah. So, I mean, obviously, you know, a very like you know pretty crazy times so i won't go too in depth like yeah, yeah, the yeah. 20s but i De- mean there was like don't have to because we've yeah. and we've talked about it on cook the caffeinated a few times as well it's just you know we don't want to go that deep right yet but i mean there was a lot of partying and there was a lot of drug abuse it was pretty like it was pretty crazy and that takes mm-hmm. a toll on you even if you didn't have anything with you it would take a toll on you so at one point i think like I mean, after years of all this, and like my finances were fucked, mm. my <laughs> physical health was fucked, like yeah. everything was a state. And then it was like, I lost my nan, then I lost my grandpa, then I had like a friend of mine uh, on a live to himself. So like there was like all these things just like accumulated together, and I had yeah. a full on mental breakdown. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, yeah. I, I, that was it. I fell apart. I had a yeah. full on mental breakdown. Uh, and I was checked into the, to the psych ward actually here in the hospital. Huh. Uh, I was there for like combined time of seven weeks or something like that. But over that time you're, you're there with psychologists and counselors and a psychiatrist. And after, after all the time, yeah, I got this diagnosis of like, this is what's up. And we're like, from the sounds of things, you had this for a long time and you just had like, like, no idea and that's yeah. where all that like all that crazy shit that you just went through yeah that's, that's what that was that was that just like blah, just coming yeah, in it just full force right because built up and then whoo yeah, yeah but like and then yeah the diagnosis was like the thing where it was like this is what's wrong we're gonna try and medicate you so i did the whole like mm. who did the whole like who with a medicine medicine adderall and that's and... no well they couldn't even give me that stuff they gave me like <laughs> I don't know. They gave me a cocktail. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It was it was fucking wild. When you explain it to some people that like understand some of those drugs, they're like, they gave you they give you how much in a day? Like this is enough to like tranquilize a fucking elephant. My like my mind is but, blown so like by that all does these not stories. work. Yeah, yeah. That does yeah. not work. Yeah. You know what I mean? You can't like numb somebody and then expect their ADD or their ADHD to get better. You need to deal with these things, right? Yeah. So I had yeah, to yeah. accept that I was a piece of shit for years. I had to accept mm. that I fucked my finances up and I'm not good with money. Yeah, I'm yeah. really good at making it. Uh-huh. I'm not great at understanding the concept of it. So yeah. like anything I make, my wife takes care of all of that. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, that, that's all of that. That's her strength. Yeah, yeah. Like that is, that's because, because, and it's not even a, like, this there's so many fucking layers to this, but that's yeah, like an yeah, ADHD yeah. thing, right? It's yeah. like we sometimes you could just go on like a spending spree, or you could just have a moment. You know what I mean? Like I could be I've told this story before. Like I could be walking to the bank with like four hundred dollars in my hand, and when I get to the bank, that four hundred dollars has to go towards paying my rent or go pay towards a bill or whatever. That's where yeah. that's where I am going with this four hundred dollars. Yeah. But on the way there, I might see something that's a deal for $400, and I will forget where I am going. It's just like, ooh, this is amazing. Look at this shiny fucking thing. Here's yeah. your $400, sir. Right? Yeah. Or you'll have some sort of genius plan of what you're going to do with this new thing you just bought. And as yep, soon as you yep, buy it, yep. you're like, oh, wait. I was going down there. Like, 
there's so, there's just so much to this, right? There's so much to this. I feel yeah. like I've been on like a bunch of different tangents here, but no, but it's yes, uh, the, I like it the diagnosis. Much, yeah. yeah. The yeah. diagnosis, man. That was like what lets you understand that all these things that you were doing, this isn't because you're an asshole. Yeah. It's, it's, these are these impulses that you just didn't recognize. And For there sure. was these things that you were never instructed about that you just, you just, you just needed some better instruction. You just needed to yeah. see it. You just needed yeah, yeah, to yeah. accept it. So like, I know I'm really what my strengths are and I know what my fucking weaknesses are now. Yeah. And it allows yeah. me to approach those things. Yeah. And I don't know. I mean, there's a lot though. I've put in so many years of like, after all the, after we, I stopped the medication, I stopped the medication myself. I weaned myself off it. I was like, how can I be, how can I learn to do anything and be myself and, and accept anything if I'm just like, numb? right? Yeah. Your, yeah, your, yeah. your brain is still firing off. You're pretty well just slow down body wise. So it's like yeah. you're trapped inside. So that's just, that wasn't working. That's wild. So I, uh, I weaned myself off and, uh, yeah, it was a really long journey then of just like learning to sleep better, but mm, like sleep yep. on your own terms at the same time. Like I can't go, I can't go to bed at ten o'clock. It doesn't work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right. I can be super tired. Like go to bed at ten. I'm still gonna be up <laughs> till two. So it's you just change. Where was my circadian rhythm? Yep. So this yeah, is yeah. where I need to go. Maybe I wake up at ten and I'm active till two in the morning. But that is me. And that is fine, yep. right? You're still yeah, productive. Yeah. You're still doing something. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, Your yeah. food, when you eat, how much you eat, why you're eating, like what, you know what I mean? Like you need to fuel yourself properly so your brain functions properly. So you're actually, there's just so much to it, right? Like, but, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was a long journey, but it took a lot of time to like, you know, to know to work out and to know to eat right and to know mm -hmm. to sleep right. Like working out is a big one too because that'll help you slow down just naturally yeah exhaust think, yourself beat yourself out but yeah. also you're getting blood flow yeah. so you're not going stale you know you feel good if you're if you're stiff and you're hunched over and yeah. your muscles are tight or yeah. they're weak or whatever you carry an energy with you subconsciously For if sure. your body's tight and it's fighting your bad posture Yep. You might have everything right in the world, but you could still be a grumpy little piece of shit because your body is just fighting this posture. So like all these things to be able to like relax a little bit more. Yeah. They all, it all works together. So like yeah. your yoga yeah, yeah. and your exercising and that time to connect with yourself and to get your blood flowing and mm -hmm. to like keep yourself healthy physically. So you keep yourself healthy mentally. Like it all needs to be like a, it's all turns together, I guess. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, and, and something that was really interesting about what that you were saying about ADHD is you, you were talking <sighs> a lot about the, the physical, but also the mental of like, like you accepting the fact that you had ADHD and like all this this other stuff, like just accepting that, you know, yeah, your 16, 17, 18 year old self, what like you you can't expect a kid that young to be self aware of all this stuff and be so like introspective and like to really understand it. So like to to, yeah. to accept that time in your life and like so there's also this like mental aspect that also affects the physical as, as well. Yo, most definitely because yeah. you know like it's the biggest thing for us is like for us ADHD people we're usually already like if we fuck something up mm. we shit on ourselves already. Like super hard in every way possible. You don't got possible. to. I, so, I, I did already. <laughs> right? So before, like we're already like amped up for the sure. failure. We've already like beat ourselves up. We're already mm. feeling a lot of shame and a lot of guilt. Mm. And then when a lot of us are raised in this generation where like if you fuck something up, you probably got like shit on. Like you know what I mean? Like you're big boys don't cry kind of thing and all these kinds of things. So it's hard yeah. for – it's hard for – you know, that younger self who has ADHD to like understand anything because you're, you're just taught to pretty well just shut the fuck up. Just don't deal with all your failure, but yet you're already yeah. like, you're, you're already like, I'm a failure. Like, you're, yeah. You're yeah. Like, ah, and nobody's told you how to just be like, it's fine. Or you're just, you know what I mean? Just yeah. This whatever. Will pass. Like, I, you know, this is fast. You can do it better the yeah. next time. You can do it again. Like, whatever. It's cool. Nobody's yeah. judging you. Nobody's upset with you. Nobody mm. else is feeling that way you're feeling. You're just already feeling it. Like, there's uh, so much to that. Like, you know? For sure. Yeah. It's, that's God. But yeah, right? So, 
you just need to learn, you know, like, and we're still like it. Like, we still have a lot of shame and guilt. And, you know, for sure, like, for that's sure. just natural for, you know, because we're all, we're like perfectionists. We want it to be like everything is like very neat and organized and very, fairly fucking neurotic about a lot of these things. And we want it to Humans be like are weird, perfect. Man. And we want yeah. it to be perfect the first time. Yeah. We don't want to fuck it up ever. Yeah. We don't want to deal with the guilt and the shame of fucking it up even once yeah that's like <laughs> there, there's definitely that stigma in society of like failure is a bad thing you want to avoid failure but like mm. that is not the truth like we should almost be celebrating failure because you're learning yes. and like have that better mindset towards it because yes. like go fail again go fail a little more and of course like yeah don't fucking go like do something crazy like there, there, there's yeah, there's yeah, obviously yeah. like somewhat of a limit Limits, or, obviously yeah, yeah yeah a balance there's a balance and uh but yeah we definitely i think yeah as there's so many things uh, that you've mentioned uh, that like, you know, society kind of needs to shift on a little bit when um, what was, what was the other one? Just the stigma of like, yeah, men don't cry, suck it up, tough it out. Like I've been the past few years trying to yeah. re- reconnect with that yeah, more yeah. emotional side of me. Cause like, I know I internalize the fuck. I like, you know, my, my emotions are, I have, that's just like what I grew up to do. Yeah. 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 And it's, yeah. It's like, all right. <laughs> right. Trying to figure Don't it out. Don't bother anybody with that. Nobody wants to hear it, dude. Right. So we didn't learn how to, that's mm. what we were kind of taught. It's like, don't bother anybody with your emotions kind of thing. And yeah, you know, yeah. guys don't cry. Don't, yep. don't, you know, what's your problem here? Kind of thing. But yeah. Get your shit together. <laughs> right. Yeah. So it's hard. Like you don't learn those, those things. And especially like if you yeah. have any kind of uh, neurodivergent, you know, whatever, mm. like, your emotions are, are like in sixth gear all the time. So it's hard to control them, right? So. Yeah. So hold up. Tag something real quick. You just said neurodivergent. Isn't that like a new neuroscience way to classify ADHD? It's like. Yeah. Yeah. Right? yeah if you got yeah. like ADD, ADHD or yeah. any of the. Because you say like it's a spectrum, right? So they call it like neurodivergent or whatever. Yeah. So I, have, I have heard that recently. If you have something like that, right? Like, you know, your like your emotions are, are, are you know, they're very automatic and they're very full frontal when they happen, right? We wear them on our sleeves and they're, they're at like full four. It's kind of full bore. It's like all or nothing. Yeah. Right. Huh. So How that did... makes it even harder than when you have like, you know, you, you have a reaction to something. It might be right over the top. Right. So yeah. yeah, yeah. Learning to, you know, kind of control yourself and think first and take a moment to like process oh the fucking situation and take I stock can't... of things before yeah. we, before we start to emote <laughs> yeah right? or just yeah my i can't tell you how many times my dad has said like Sweet just like dear. think think before you act you know just that right. that whole thing it's like i i'm sorry <laughs> right i can't yeah. right now yeah. yeah 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 right it's like the All restless right. leg syndrome you just you don't think about it it's just happening it's yeah. you know sometimes you're it's like out of body you just like go 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 why yeah. did you do that? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, life. Life yeah. is. Life is. Uh, life's life's strange. Needless to say, and it's it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. I'm I'm here for every moment of it. I love nice. it. Nice, nice. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Especially once you start getting getting your shit together. Essentially, you know, eating right, sleeping right, exercising. Like it'll be more yeah. fun. It, like the fun can increase. It's way more approachable. <laughs> The thing yeah. too is like, I don't know, man, like you need to work it. Like everybody yeah. needs to work it. And it doesn't yeah. have to be to like look good in any way, shape or form. If you can sure. just function properly and function properly into your later years without mm. feeling achy and have bad posture and stuff. Yeah. Like life is going to be way more fun. It's yeah. going to be so much more fun. Yeah. Right. Like I, I, well, like I'm a personal trainer, so I've taught, I've taught classes. I used to teach like classes here all the time where I would do like fitness classes with, you know, anybody from ages like 18 to like 80. Nice. And good, good range. The, yeah. Right. So you get to see these things where like anybody who is in their like 20s mm. were pretty like limber. They're still got a good posture. They were strong in like a, a 3D world. So like wherever you were throwing them in class, they were good with it. They were, still could generate a lot of stability and power. But from like 30s to like 50s, you ran into a whole lot of people who had like all these issues. 
Yeah. Like all these fucking issues. The issues knees, are so common. Backs, shoulders, necks, all these things. And it's like you're so young. Yeah. Like you are so young. Why yeah. are you moving like this? Why is yeah. your posture like this? Some of it's, yeah. you know, if you've had an accident or you've whatever, like, you know, there's some outlying factors. But like the functionality of their human bodies that they are in in their in their bodies is like the functionality of this machine that they're driving. They're just driving around on like flat tires. For sure. It's like everybody's driving around on a flat tire. And then yeah, the tire yeah. blew off and they kept driving. And now the axle's fucked. And now the front of the car is starting to run off. And there's sparks everywhere. Like yeah. change the tire before it's just like a shit show. But yeah. it's like that's what you find between like 30s and whatever. But then you get into this older generation. This generation that like grew up and they walked to school and they chopped their own wood and they did all these things and they didn't have a car or whatever the fuck. Yeah. And like I had women in there that were like the mid to early 90s and like late 80s mm. and they would come to my one hour class in the morning, the senior class, after they had been at the ski park for an hour. And when they leave my class, then they were going to go home and do some laundry and then go back up to the ski park and put another hundred few kilometers under cross-country skis. And then they were all okay. going to meet up later and go walk. Like, if you don't stop moving and you keep moving and you just, like, don't go stale in your later years, mm. you could be so happy and so healthy. Like, those ladies in their 80s and 90s were way fitter than people in their 30s and in their 50s because they just, like – they didn't go stale. They didn't yeah. sit. Yeah. They're not yeah, sitting yeah. for long periods of time. They're not just flicking through the TV. They're not just yep. like they're holding their bad posture. They kept yeah. moving. Yeah. They're gardening. They're exercising. They're skiing. They're doing. They're still moving around and doing yeah. stuff. And they're fit as a fiddle in their like later years. And they're not crippled. And they're not just at home with like bad ankles and gout and fucking bad necks and yeah sciatica and whatever else you know what sure I mean? yeah and like uh you know just these like accumulated <laughs> <laughs> hey that was that was good though that was good though Ugh. very, very good. Right? good like yeah no yeah i think you're funny. you're fucking on the money man um and you know these accumulative diseases that build up from a long periods of time of just being shitty to yourself kind of right not exercising not, yeah. eating well, not sleeping well yeah exactly right it's more than yeah. just like how your bones and your joints feel it's how your liver's gonna feel yeah. and your pancreas and your yeah. heart and your lungs yep. and your yeah. your eyes and your everything you know what i mean like yeah and like, and, and like as a trainer that's why i like i took the courses that i took and did the things that i wanted to do because i wanted to approach that for people and and not just be like all right we're gonna make you do squats deadlifts and whatever hmm. no i mean they're like i want to build you the body so we can A, get away from some of the patterns that you already have in your body, mm. fix your posture. But I want to mm -hmm. build you the body that you're going to have like a strong and resilient and bulletproof body into your later years. I want to yeah. line you up for success. I don't want you to have – I don't want you to just have a nice six-pack in a couple of months. That's all I want. I want you to have like strong, limber hips – and a pelvis and a strong mm -hmm. diaphragm and good shoulders and posture because we want everything to operate the way it's supposed to operate later in your years. Mm. If your abs are starting to weaken, if your abs and your diaphragm and your pelvis and all that stuff, we're going to start to have bladder problems and incontinence problems and back problems. And like, interesting. Yeah. yeah there's yeah, so I, I heard much heard to this. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. So and, your trainer needs to take that as in depth as possible is like your postures and what you do throughout the day and your, how you move, and why you move to line you up for your later years so that your posture isn't like, whoa, we're always just fighting yeah, it. Like, yeah. You, need to, uh, you, can, you can very easily be a stud into your later years and it's, you don't have to be at the gym killing yourself every day. Mm, you just need mm. to like train smart. Yeah, <laughs> That's it. Yeah. Just train like for functionality. Yeah. The yeah, look yeah. of it will come. Like if you're strong and you're fit, your posture is where it needs to be and your body's operate operating mm. the way it needs to be. Sure. That look you want will show up. It yeah, will be there. Yeah. Yeah. It should, it, should, <laughs> right? it should be a secondary goal, not the main goal. Yeah. It'll come. It has no choice but to show up. You don't have to do anything fancy. You just have to yeah. be functional. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, see, I get a little passionate about the exercise stuff. So. <laughs> uh, so one thing, like, I need you in my life to help fix my body. <laughs> Dude, I'm, I'm trying to – that's what I'm going to do here now, too, is I'm going to start doing more videos of, like, 
like say my workout for the week i'll put up my workout for the week on say sunday Mm. and then i'll break down each exercise throughout the days or whatever so people can follow along and they can actually like do the proper form of all the things that i'm gonna do to get myself back in shape and kind of fight off the hips and the back and all the things and what i need i might do a second instagram page for that but i'm Uh definitely going to be doing youtube for it yeah, 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 I definitely a longer want vlog long. kind of style kind of thing because like, because like this is this is the thing with this is like this should be knowledge that everybody yeah. should have. It's the same thing as like when you're growing up, they should have told you how to pay your taxes and what your bills were going to be and how to get a mortgage and how to just not be a piece of shit. Like they should physical health shouldn't just be like phys ed when you go to that class and play fucking dodgeball. Mm. Yeah, it should be yeah, like yeah. here's how to maintain this vehicle that you're gonna drive. Yeah, yeah, yeah for hopefully yeah. like eighty or ninety years. Like here's how to maintain this thing. Like yeah. it's gonna get flat tires. Yeah. Here's how to fix that, or here's yeah. how to prevent that before that happens. Exactly. Right. Like yeah. let's let's prevent. Yeah, for sure. Right. That's yeah. that's, that's that's like why like I, I'm a corrective exercise specialist. Like we either try to line you up to prevent injury or mm. bring you back from injury, but. Yeah, I want to make sure you're not driving around on a flat tire. <laughs> but that should, they should yeah. teach that, right? Sure. Like that's kind of the thing. Is yeah, we this, start to find out about it before it's like it's way too late. Correct. Exactly. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. I, yeah, I can't tell you how many people, especially in the U.S., how common it is. Like, oh, I have stage three cancer. It's like, huh? Like, well, how is this not you're caught? So this, young. Yeah. 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 Right? And this didn't you're, come yeah, out of how nowhere. How is that not caught? Yeah, 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 shit, yeah sure. shit, shit like that. But uh, I, I think uh, something I just want to highlight is like what you what you're saying about these eighty, you know, not late eighties, even ninety year old women who they're getting mm. a lot of movement, and it's not they're like not stopping. Yeah, and it's 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 not like overly complicated going to the gym, slaying yourself. It's just moving. Yeah, that's like really it. And so it and that's, yeah, yeah, that's one thing my girlfriend has really been like uh resonating with is, is like just go on a walk like just don't it, go stale that yeah. was my thing as a trader i would go, always tell people like just yeah. don't go stale like you don't have to be at home doing 100 push-ups every single night yeah go garden crawl around on your hands and knees when you need <laughs> yeah. the garden yeah right like yeah that's something i teach in my class a lot is crawling crawling mm, is nice. you have no idea yeah. how good that can be for you for your hands your wrists your elbows your knees your toes or everything like mm. But like when I teach a class and I'm going to start, we'll, we'll start that soon. I'm going to start just teaching that knowledge to everybody. Else. Like I have it. I feel like you just, everybody should know how to yeah. fucking maintain themselves. I want to see you yes. all like live and strive and survive. And like we all get into cannabis usually because of some sort of physical ailment or something like that or whatever. Mm-hmm. And if you have that, like I find it's a very common thing that like you also need to get the fuck back in shape. Your posture yeah. probably sucks. You're probably sitting around or your hip is fucked or your elbow is fucked or your knee or your wrist or your whatever. Like we all yeah. need a little bit of fucking help here. And I'd like, yes. Yes. I just need to like give this to you for free. There's no charge. It's like, here, I'm going to make these videos. Mm. Just watch it and help yourself for fuck's sakes. <laughs> Seriously though. Like, yeah. Uh, yeah. If just we please help yourself. Yeah. Someone. If, and it's, it's, you know, we all have the power to do that. And like, there's different mm. starting points for everyone, but we all definitely have the power. And I feel like, I've definitely realized it myself. Like I'll go be consistently like exercising and I feel my body loosening up and like, I, I couldn't do pull-ups for a while. I can do pull-ups now. And that's just been a consistent thing for like the past few years. Um, like dead hang on rings kind of thing. Like my, Oh yeah. Fucked. Wonderful. Yeah. I try uh, to explain that to two people like hanging is so hanging. Get one yeah. of those push-up bar, like, you know, those, those little ones that hook up in your whatever in your yeah. door frame or, yeah. or if you can get rings or whatever, uh, just hanging. Yeah, inversion tables and and or rings like hang from your ankles and hang from your hands. Oh, yeah, yeah. So yeah. good for overall like mobility and strength in your shoulders and in your spine and in your hips and knees. Yeah, and, spine oh. health. I feel like yeah, uh, that's definitely like a yogi uh, a yoga thing. Like uh, I know I I heard supposedly some yoga master say like show me your spine. And like that'll de- that'll like kind of tell me how old you are. Essentially, like you can determine yeah, yeah, yeah. age by the health of health of their spine. Yeah, I can but see that. Well, that's like not, that's like not, what I'm trying to do for you. in anything is is you're trying to keep your your spine happy and healthy above mm. everything, right? If your glutes are like this, the 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 foundation, a little bit. the foundation of like good health. 
mm. is strong glutes. If your pelvis can sit where it's supposed to sit mm. and, and your glutes are strong and they're keeping your femur because they, they rotate your femur. So your legs, like, uh-huh. you know what I mean? They rotate in or out. Your, if they're if they're really tight or if they're really loose or if they're not where they should be, your legs are probably going to fall in. If your legs and your knees fall in, now we got all that pressure in your knees, but your pelvis has moved. Yeah. It's either going to yeah, fall yeah. forward or it's going to fall backwards, right? Like that is your center of good health. If that falls out of place yeah then everything else goes with it so that's like go with it your shoulders go with it because your body will subconsciously recenter itself so if you're like you know what i mean like 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 if your pelvis is like down or forward anterior pelvic tilt right like you know what i mean if it goes forward then everything else has to fall forward if it goes back then everything has to like your everything has to Right, your stomach would like fall outward. Sure, would sure, forward, sure. Right, yeah. It yeah. will recenter your gravity for you. You just won't notice it. And then it's where your posture sucks. What happens when your posture sucks? Now your knees and your back and your ankles and your neck and your shoulders all hurt. Everything hurts. Yeah. So that's like yeah. it's this whole thing, right? We got to get it all together. But your spine, your spine held, and you're like your core and your pelvis and all that, like third glutes. We got to get all that together and then you're, you're pretty good to go. Mm, I like that. So that's a, that's a good like foundational starting point is like, you probably need help. If you haven't been focusing on like trying to make your body that functional vehicle, then you should probably start focusing on your, your ass and your abs, but like, yeah, not just abs. Glutes glutes, for sure. Yeah. So like, you'll see now, you'll see now when I start doing all these things, like we'll talk on every little bit of it every day. Like there's, yeah, there's a lot to it. Yeah. There's, okay. know, there's okay. rotational strength ah. and anti-rotation and and we gotta get through spinal flexion and we gotta get through like good mobility and this and that and the other thing. Like cool. But like yeah. the training is smart. So it's not like we don't just focus on one thing every day. We hit pretty well hit a little bit of everything yeah. every day. Yeah. Right? I like it. I it's functional. That's what your body's doing all day anyway. It's very functional and yeah. You know, if we only work out for an hour, there's twenty three other hours where we're fighting our postures and moving around and doing all kinds of stuff. So like, you know, I got to teach you a little bit to like carry over into the rest of the day as well. Right. What do you think about my chair? It's a kneeling chair. It's not even like a, Oh, weird. (laughs) I actually, it's, I thought it would like help, help my uh, sitting posture. And I definitely still slouch, but maybe it's a little better. (laughs) It's hard not to, man. Like it's it's hard not to. So you're sitting now, you're sitting on your pelvis and your pelvis is tilted. So when your pelvis is tilted, then everything else tilts. So it's like you're, you're fighting it too. It's hard to, it's hard to get a good seat. Yeah. It's really hard to get a good seat. We're just like properly. Yeah. We're not like, it's almost like for long periods of time too. It's like, it's so hard to like sit here properly and just talk to you and smoke joints. Right. (laughs) Yeah, I thought this about is doing a wonderful standing. Podcast. <laughs> right? Do you ever do a standing? No, no, that, I that could, that could be, could be good. But anyways, let's okay. Let we've <laughs> let's let's uh, get into a little bit of growing. We, we haven't talked about. We've barely talked about cannabis. I know. All, we're I so, like. I'm so tangential too, right? Like <laughs> no, it's these just are been like great, <laughs> great tangents. Tangents though, like it's it's all stuff that I'm super super fascinated in though. So I appreciate it. Yeah, at yeah. Least. Um, okay. Cool. So quickly, let's go over like your, so you, <laughs> you had, your, <laughs> you had your horseback riding accident and fucked yeah. up a lot of your spine and Woo, some, funny. yeah. So like you medicate for pain is one of your, big yeah, things. yeah. Shit yeah, ton so, of nerve pain and hip pain. Yeah. Okay. What, uh, what is working well for you? What have you found that, that works well for you? Well, edibles, edibles are one of the biggest things for me, right? Like on top of the exercise and the stretching and trying to keep the nerves like, you know, in those areas as happy as possible. It, for me, it's yeah. making like butter and making edibles with that butter. Okay. Right? Like uh, more of the concentrate, something that I can eat. Uh, Cause like, you know, I like to smoke. I love a good doobie. Doobies are like one of my favorite ways to consume, but I just can't can't fucking smoke doobies all day long they're a great yeah. quick pain relief say like if you were like driving all day like well you know all that traveling i just did if i like get yeah back to my destination with b&b or i get home or whatever it's a good way to like you know have it to fix that like you know kind of take some of the the tingle and the bite out of things uh 
but edibles, like a, a good brownie edibles. or a cookie or something like that. Something that like, yeah. you know, has a longer lasting, more physical effect, mm -hmm. you know? Do you yeah, think, yeah. Uh, I find that's how... like the best for me. Nice. Nice. Do you think the, uh, how, cause you, you know how, um, the THC is metabolized by your liver. It gets turned into a, like a different chemical that what mm -hmm. then goes and, you know, gets in your endocannabinoid system. Do you think it's, uh, somewhat of that, that is just better for the pain and whatnot or. Yeah. Like when you decarb, decarb your weed and we, we can make it edible and it processes in that, in that form. I find that's, uh, yeah, it's way more of a body high and it's way better for, kind of numbing out the muscles and that like that nerve pain because i find like even if you even at like the best flower that's been taken really far into harvest and is very ripe and it's very amber dry cones or whatever uh yeah. i find that that's like you know you can smoke piles of it and it's just not the same as taking an edible but that's just for me edibles aren't the same for everybody right for sure yeah yeah everyone shout out shout out the smoke doll for having uh, their new product dude i don't know if you've seen them we had hey. uh, uh, -uh. we had riley on uh, uh cannabicam we had riley on on the show cooked and caffeinated before she okay. was on yeah and she yeah. uh they had this this product where they combust it and they actually capture the combusted material and put that in edible form so some people can take edibles and it doesn't affect them like when they're being decarbed it doesn't affect them, but if you, okay. but they can smoke and they get the relief they want. So some people yep. like, it's like, it's like if you wanted to take an edible and you weren't getting pain relief from it. And the only thing you can do is just smoke all day long and take fucking yep. bong rips all day long. That's awful. Right. Like, especially if you're not a smoker, but they yeah, have this product yeah, there yeah. where you can actually take an edible and it's the effect of smoking. That is insane. Yeah, isn't that cool? Huh. So that's like, that changes the game for a lot of people that like just really want to take an oil or an edible or, or a topical or whatever, and they just yeah. don't get a relief from it. Yeah. That this, with smoke doll in it, they can. That's super, super fascinating. God, I love science. Yeah. I know. <laughs> it's it's super cool. They got a great team uh, over there. Nice. And yes. what what was the uh, the company again? Smoke doll. So smoke N O L as in like one word. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Cool. Smoke, That's really cool. Smoke not. I uh, what's up, kitty? It's not uh, happening. Get out of here. No. <laughs> get out of here. Get your shit. Get out. <laughs> get out now. Get. You got out of here. Get. Uh, um. Okay. So how did you, how did you go about growing? Like when did you when, when did you get into growing? uh like two and a half two and a half years ago it'll be like three i think this year at some point and what uh, was the, the reason for so getting into it? so like <clears throat> with the back with the horseback riding accident like mm. that sucked for a few years uh but it wasn't that bad and then i actually put a disc out of my back again Ooh. which was awful i Ugh. put a disc in my lower lumbar spine and it was uh -huh horrendous it yeah. was really bad it was pressed up against the sciatic nerve like i was bedridden for a few months like it was brutal it was months. worse than the horse it was worse than a horseback Jeez. riding accident because the That's sciatic insane. nerve is like is the biggest nerve in your body it's this huge bundle of nerves right runs from like in kind of around like the lumbar spine through the pelvis mm. through the hip like mm -hmm. down into the leg all the way yeah. to the heel it's huge right uh and i had a disc actually pressed up against it uh and for months and months and months of doctors tried a lot of different pills and stuff i'm not really uh -huh. into any kind of pharmaceuticals that make me feel really really gross plus they can be like incredibly addictive obviously and are hard on the system uh so after yeah, like months yeah, of pretty well no relief it's like uh -huh. even taking like i think they gave me oxymorphones at one point even taking those, like you'd be like super like <laughs> giddy and high, but it wouldn't really take the nerve pain away. It wasn't really helping gotcha. with that kind of stuff. Yeah. Where I could smoke a fucking joint and get like instant relief and not feel mm. gross and not feel disgusting and not have a calm down. So 
we started, I, I had actually quit smoking for a bit and I actually picked it back up again. I was like, cool, we're going to get back into like, smoking a bit of weed now for, for pain relief. Uh, and yeah, when we moved into our new house here, must like, you know, long story short, me and the missus got our, we got a house this is where we live now. When we got our own house, it was like, let's have a, we should have a grow. We should grow it ourselves because like the medical stuff was gross. The recreational stuff was mm. gross. It was all super dry, pure gross. It smoked terribly. It was, oh, it was horrendous. The early days were awful. And yeah. uh, I was like, well, why don't I just grow it at home? There's like, there's no way that like, I'll know where it comes from. I'll know what it was grown yep. with. I can grow it my way. And I, I just, that was the biggest thing is knowing where does my medicine come from. So. So, okay. So you started growing because you wanted to control, you know, what the, the quality of your meds, uh, what goes into it, just that whole process. Right. And like, uh, yeah, I wanted to, to know where it was coming from. I wanted to trust it and mm. I wanted to get into it myself. Yeah. 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 Okay. So you've been, so for about three years now, you've learned a lot. You came on to Instagram already. Like you knew what you were doing, like from the get go, I think you had like blues glues going, right? Oh yeah. 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 So I had been growing for, I've been growing for, I think a year hmm. before, uh, before I actually like started an Instagram page dedicated to cannabis. I think it was something about a year. Uh, and doing like the legal thing, right? We had uh, like four recreational plants. I'm allowed to do four. So mm. that's all I would grow until I got a medical license and got like 25 plant license in the house or okay. whatever. But uh, yeah, I think I was growing for about a year before I decided to get out of Instagram. I actually have a buddy, uh, the Blazing Bobcat, he's known as. Okay. Shout out to uh, him. He actually, he actually, yeah, shout out to him. He actually just had his page taken down because no. Instagram. Because Instagram. I think it was a little over 30,000 or something like that before they took him down. Uh, does but, he, just, so there's someone that, like, I, I know someone who knows someone who can get Instagram accounts back. So, cool. Uh, well, somebody if, needs to talk to him about that then. Because that would yeah. be nice to get that back for him. But uh, the place yeah, in Bobcat. Anyway, he's, he wears okay, a big yeah. Bobcat hat. He's got this big thing. And no one's ever okay. seen his face kind of thing. That's what he, yeah. that's what he does. But he's a Newfoundlander. Uh, but we were buddies before uh, before I started a cannabis page. So, like, he's seen all the stuff that I was growing. And he's seen all these grows that I was kind of working on. He's like, dude, you need to start sharing this. Like, you need mm. to start sharing this. And yeah, he encouraged me to get on there. So I wouldn't even have been on Instagram. I would have just been learning how to grow weed, I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess yeah. Think, think how many people out there. Uh, yeah, that's awesome. And like, dude, I, you are like such a great personality, though, as well. <laughs> like, it's, it's, I was because I was going through some of your like well, your right. older reels and whatnot. And uh, <laughs> I, I thought it was hilarious. And just like, I'm just oh, having fun. Awesome. I'm just it's, having fun. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's, and, uh, for me, like when I'm I doing content, I'm just making it for me. And I'm making it for anybody yeah. else. I'm just making it for me. If it seems funny, I'll just do it. You know? If I want to take a picture of something, I'll just do yeah. that. Yeah, but it's like it's – and you're, you're just being yourself essentially. Like yeah, for you, it's, just, it's what you think yeah. is funny, right? And people, yeah, I think people like seeing like you just being, being yourself. Do a good I job of that. Hand, Keep it up. Do it right? a handful. So, yeah. Never change. <laughs> um okay so what what do you what's uh what's what's yeah. in the garden nowadays what's in the, what's uh, okay in the, so this garden nowadays i've got uh two tents full of mutants right now so we have mutant varieties from uh two tents two tents that's right i have a five by five and a three by three packed full of mutants from uh terpies mutant genetics terpies what is z uh well, I'm bred by Dr. Cali, Cali Seeds. Uh, shout out to the guys for creating so many crazy mutant varieties. But I have Swag Lemon. Right. What do I have? Swag Lemon Haze, uh, ABC Special, so Australian Bastard Cannabis Special, um, Pablo Picasso, which is like the one that really, that's the one that's turning a lot of heads, getting a lot of attention because that's the variegated mm -hmm. variety. I have an albino. <laughs> variety of it growing, Fino or whatever. Um, 
So yeah, anyway, I've got yeah, I've got two tents. Yeah, two tents full of those. Those are actually getting transplanted after we finish up today. They're getting transplanted into Mm. five and seven gallon fabric pots, and they're getting flipped over to flour in about a week or so. Uh, And then downstairs in the four. 45 gallon pots that I have downstairs, the big no till no. pots. Woo. Yeah, those are awesome. Uh, ooh, that is a that is a lot of fun. That was a botanical garden down there at one point. That's all femme flowers right now. So I think in, in one pot there's five, in another pot there's four, in another pot there's four and three, or something like that, of like each plant. In, fems, in each right? 45 fems. gallon pot. In each yeah. pot. Yeah, in each pot, there's like four or five fems in each one kind of thing. And they're yeah, huge. Yeah, yeah. And I'm doing nothing but Dude. just feeding them like water and teas. That's it. Water and tea is just like okay, these so, wicked no-till yes. pots. Yeah. Yes. And you have yeah. so you have quite a quite a big ecosystem in there. You have some cover crop, right? Like uh, used to. Uh, used to. I mean, it's so okay. thick in there now that the cover crop is pretty well gone cover crop into companion plants it was so thick that it just choked companion all plants, that yeah, shit yeah. out yeah yeah, okay. yeah the canopy okay. yeah because yeah. there's so many there's so many flowers in there now the canopy is so thick that like nothing survives underneath <laughs> i caught yeah, a lot what, of it out too think? though right because it's like when i'm running all flower like you could still do chop and drop but mm. you're definitely looking at there's some more issues to control then Right, if we start running into like mold problems and stuff, we don't want it to happen while we are in flower. So I would like when I'm going to all flower or like you know all this like cannabis flower like that, I'd yeah, much yeah, rather yeah. have very little or no cover crop, just like a mulch okay. layer, like straw or something like that, or rice hulls. So it's just just during veg, then you you would have a lot of companion and cover crop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. In veg, and then when we're okay. in flower, I'll just like. I'll chop it down really, really heavy. <laughs> like, should chop it, chop it. I'll usually take everything that I chop, put that in my Bokashi bin, mm. and then that Bokashi bin gives off, like, the best juice and some of the best compost that you can get, right? Down the road. Okay, yeah, this, like, a lot, some of this is, is new to me, so I'm not super familiar. Um, but, yeah, I'm, I'm tracking on that. What? Mostly, what what do you do? You think there's a special benefit? I know certain crops like corn, they do better when they're in groups and together. Yeah, and yeah, 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 I yeah, wonder, definitely. It can, cannabis. So you have a few plants in one pot. So are there? Is there some kind of like, you know, effect symbiosis in there? Yeah, oh, hundred percent, hundred percent. Okay. Um, okay. if you go back on my Instagram too, you'll find uh, like a tiny tent with just seven gallon fabric pots. I just loaded them full of good soil and I mm. put like one fem in each plus uh, some companions, some like basil and some marigolds and uh, a few other things like some chamomile and a few other things that were all in amongst these pots. Um, and those plants did amazing and the terpenes mm. were super loud and the plant health was really nice um and the more i looked into this the more you you kind of i don't even know what the real word is for that um but it's this a, a synergistic effect is it? yeah it's pretty well like yeah it's pretty well like a synergistic effect so in the, in the like rhizosphere, like in where like where all the roots are and where yeah, all the, like... the, the, all those funguses are and all those, all that, everything that's together, all the microbial mm-hmm. life, all the ecto, endo, micro rhizae, yeah, yeah. everything all together, yeah. they're all communicating with each other. So like, let's say, uh, there's a marigold in there and the marigold starts to get like eaten by some sort of pest. It gets like thrips or something. Sure. It can signal yeah. to the rest of them that it's under uh-huh. attack. And then, yeah. like, everybody else kind of, like, kind of signals as well. So you might get, like, more resin production or something like that to protect themselves yeah, from. Yeah, yeah, Right? Yeah. Uh, and there's the some people that will say, also... like, like growing chamomile with some of the others, chamomile, chamomile, whatever, mm. Uh, mm. can, like, boost the terpenes of whatever it's kind of with. Now, like, I can't, you know, I can't give you any evidence to that one. But there's a lot of, like, talk about, you know, how they'll kind of communicate with each other and they kind of all help each other out. Plus having other things in the soil, like cover crop, like the barley and the fenugreek and the alpha, alfalfa and the clover and all those other things. 
that helps build structure. There's like structure, mm, there's sure. root zone, there's topsoil, there's more moisture retention and nitrogen retention. And, and like, there's, there's so many benefits to kind of having that in there and not just having like a mono crop where, you know, it's just like a really dry surface on the top. Right. Yeah. 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 Nature works better when more of it is involved typically. Yeah. Yeah, I always use the same old adage, like, or whatever the fuck. If you go outside and you're in the forest, like, look around you. Look at, like, one square foot of where you are, or square yeah. meter, or whatever, wherever you are. You know what I mean? Oh, square yeah. yard, whatever you want to use. All the, all the bacteria. All right? The, Just look at, like, must... right? Like, how much is happening in that one little area, right? There's sure. gigantic trees, and there's bushes, and there's grass, and there's, there's everything, and there's mushrooms, and fruits, and berries, and whatever. Uh, and it just, Especially just, somewhere like Newfoundland. Yeah, right. Like you can you can maximize like every square inch, and that's mm. something that I found. Like you can see that like the one before <clears throat> before I turned these forty fods into just all cannabis. That yeah. was there was amaranth, cucumbers, and tomatoes, and cannabis, and the cover crop, and flowers, and there was like everything Jeez. in there. Right? <laughs> that's awesome. You can go back. You can go back just like a little bit. You can find that there's okay. some like. It was botanical in there, man. We grew a little bit of everything. But the point of that was to show people, especially in like Newfoundland where our grow season might be very short, that you can have a year-round grow season indoors with very low maintenance and very high yields and very tasty organic food. That's kind of the same thing as like growing your own fucking weed so you yeah. can grow your own medicine and know where that comes from. Now you've got food in your house. That yeah. you grew, you know what's in it, you know who, like what it's been treated with, how it's been handled. Like you can literally go downstairs and just like pick a pile of fresh tomatoes and the cucumbers and some herbs. Like there was basil and rosemary and chamomile and marigold. So like everything in there was edible, hmm. right? You could pick it for teas or you could pick it for food at right now or like spices later or whatever. Like. You could just all year round have tasty, healthy, available food right there. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. That's super but it's summertime now, so all that's outside. So I'm growing flower in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I grow some yeah. beautiful organic flower in there. Yeah, I, I think that is that is one thing that's cool about starting to grow cannabis for a lot of those people. It opens up <clears> them <throat> growing other things like <throat> fruits and vegetables and that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. a slippery slope, man. It's a slippery slope. You fall it's down. It's a fucking I got like, great slope, man. It's the like best. Fucking, it's the best. I'm gonna new start pushing people down. Had. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Ugh, yeah. Just, like, get down there. <laughs> uh, You're gonna well, like, it, like I swear. That's like all the gardening here. Like I do all the gardening, right? Like there's there's mm. three stand up beds. We we tilled a big plot for potatoes this year. There's like beds up against the tree line. There's hanging pots. I put a peanut out in the front yard. There's perennials. Yeah. Like. I would never use the word perennial a few years ago. And this sure, year sure, I put sure, in sure. piles of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right? You've, uh, yeah. You, you've really like, gone from like zero. I feel like you've, you've gone to zero to like 150 mm -hmm. in like just a few years, like three years. That is my life. All or yeah. nothing, man. All or nothing. Yeah. I wanted like, if I'm into something, I want to know everything about it. And that's like, I cannot get enough gardening in general. Like growing cannabis, I love it. Breeding yeah. my own cannabis, I love it. But like, I like everything. The gardens outside, the the habitat outside too. Like having a great lawn is something I like as well. Having a really nice the trees yeah, and the bushes to, and the yeah. the gardens. Like I like it all immaculate. But I like you know I just enjoy it. It's a a lot of fun for me. Yeah, I, and it's super great for just uh, human beings to be spending all that time in nature as well so it's just uh, yeah yeah right yeah. you're out you're getting fresh air you're yeah, you're, you're in around. that what i call that 3d world right like you could i could train you to squat and i could train you to deadlift i could train mm. you to do bench press and all these things that are in like this very specific plane i could train you that all day long but i can't train you for being like hands and knees and reaching in and trying to like weed the things and move buttercups and picking up this yeah. and moving that and Unless like you know what i mean you're 3d you need to like crawl around and you know yeah. it's so good for us man, to be gardening yeah gardening a little bit yeah it's it's almost like uh we should be, be required to crawl for like <laughs> five minutes a day or something like that literally like the programs that i do you crawl for three 
crawl for three yeah. minutes. Like, you know what yeah. I mean? That's yeah, when I'm that doing long. the like movement, like the actual movement class. Like when we're doing that, it's it's like three minutes. You do like a minute yeah. of Frogger, a minute of Bear, and a minute of Monkey. Yeah. That's like, and that's a lot. You move up to five minutes, but like you should be required to do that. It's it is honestly it, life changing. It, it, it sounds like, funny, but it's yeah. life changing. It really is. Sure, you need yeah, to, yeah. Like look at a look at a toddler, a little baby that just learned how mm. to walk. When they stand up, do they mm. stand up and go? Uh, do they sit in a chair they're, and go, uh, they're uh, squat. Uh, they're, they're they can squat. squat. Their posture is great. I know their limbs are a little different at that age, but like, you know what I mean? As a kid, yeah. you yeah. grow up yeah. crawling around on the grass and rolling around mm-hmm. with your friends and climbing this yeah. and running yeah. over this and biking through this and swimming through this. You're moving. You're 3D and you're all like that's we lose that as we get older. Right? Like, you, when you learn to crawl again and just do these, like, little movements, man, how fast your mobility and your end-of-range motion and stability and strength, like, how quickly that all just comes back? Mm. We should. That's... We should literally be forced to crawl. <laughs> I'm going to like... get shit on for that, for saying that. <laughs> We're gonna we're gonna clip clip that out and put it in. Edit uh, that shit the fuck out. <laughs> uh, no, but like it should be uh, like on the 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 manual of life that you are supposed yes. to get when you enter this yes. world. Like, hey, yes. you should Here's probably how to fucking crawl. This thing. Yeah. yeah, like yeah, right? it, it would These be are very powerful postures yeah. to to keep you happy. Sorry, yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah. In the book, yeah. in the book, put that one in the book. Put it in the book. <laughs> Dude, but seriously, like, I feel like we we need a book, and there's you know there's so many people who have obviously written uh, wisdom. It's it's weird because it's like uh, the more and the more the more information I absorb and whatnot, it's like okay, all the wisdom essentially seems to already be out there. You just have to go find it. You know? Yeah, it's there. Yeah, a, a lot. Like, yeah, it's yeah. like it's kept secret from you almost. It's weird. A little bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's changing, but. Yeah, it's definitely getting better. We have more access to information now, which is great. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, so, okay, let's shift gears a little bit, get into social media. Um, so, you start. You, we, we talked about this a little bit. Like, you started uh, like two ish years ago. Oh, interestingly, okay, you started Reels pretty quickly after they came out. Like, you got on, yeah. I think, in August. I want to say some somewhere around then. Or July, and then in 2020, and then Reels came out in uh, August, and then you started your first reel was in September, so September 19th. So you kind of hopped on the reel game pretty quickly. Nice. Do you feel like uh, barely growing? She she did as well, and she noticed a lot of uh, you know fresh eyes essentially, and like a lot yeah, of yeah, yeah. engagement and whatnot. Did you did you yeah, feel yeah. like the similar? Oh, for sure. Yeah. Like when I used okay. to post, so I used to like I used to like neurotically post. So I would post a picture at a very specific time. And then usually the next day I would post a reel at a specific Mm. time. Like I had, it was like, you're posting every single day. I Mm. sometimes twice a day at specific times and with specific hashtags, uh, and doing the whole thing because that's what i just thought you had to do it was like you know this is what you do so that people can see your stuff or whatever we can all like figure each other out yeah uh yeah yeah, i did reels yeah now like there's so many that have been removed and archived too like i said i used to post every day so if it was all up there would be like oh my god right there'd be like six or seven hundred posts or a thousand posts or something like that that go through Hmm. right I think I'm at like 600 something now. It would Six, be thousands. 689. I, yeah, yeah, it would yeah. be a oh. lot to go through. Really? Like, yeah, yeah. Now, that's, it's all ar- yeah, so you, archived. Like there's still yeah, so yeah. much stuff that's archived. Wow. That's I just incredible. Like, yeah, you just got to clean it up because, I mean, yeah. you'd have to go through a reel and a picture every single day for for like a year and a half or something like that before I gave that off. But like that's a lot of yeah, engagement wise, I had a good, I had a lot of fun playing with the algorithm because like mm. at one point I had that like figured out, like figured out. It was really, it was kind Dude. of wild, honestly. But like, I, I haven't, uh, like, I haven't been doing moment. it in the last few months. I haven't been on Instagram a lot lately over the last few months. I'm going to start doing that more now and uh-huh. try to figure out the algorithm again, I guess. I don't know. But, like, I had it just, like, figured out. It was 
kind of an accident. Like, you know what I mean? I was just doing the things I was supposed to be doing. But mm. there was a time there where I would get 100 to 200 followers every single day. Really? The t- I topped out one day. I topped out at like 400 and something in a 24 hour span. But I was going on for weeks at a time, like weeks and weeks at a time. Like every single yeah. day, I was 100 to 100 and whatever new followers. Uh, and like reels and the pictures and stuff would see like a hundred thousand people on every post or on every reel or whatever. Right. You, so know what you, I mean? you, you were getting a lot of growth then. So your, your growth on Crazy social is kind traction. of, like, it's, it's, it's a uh, leveled out. I'm guessing oh, yeah. a little bit. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, uh, Quite a bit, I don't, least, I don't remember actually. what happened, but anyway, I just pretty well just stopped posting for a while. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? I, I gave up the whole, like, everyday thing. We've been busy as fuck, too, doing, like, some other yeah. things. Like, cooked and caffeinated and figuring out our lives as well. Like, you no, know I what I mean? That. Where, where yeah. I am right now, like, you know, I'm now at this position where we're going to, like, go, like, full social media mode. So I'll be back to posting every yeah. day, but I'm also doing YouTube and doing a bunch of other things and some vlogging yeah. and some this, that, and the other thing that I want to, like, because I enjoy it. I, like, you know, I, I find it, it's a lot of fun. I guess maybe... I guess maybe for a bit there, I just wasn't having fun. Well, you can get burnt out, right? Like it's to, to have that kind of posting every day and it can be. Yeah. And I had, yeah. like, I had, a I won't get into good. details, but like I had sure. a deal with a company as well that mm. just like didn't really go well and it mm. delayed me on a lot of things and it kind of left a bit of a bitter taste in my mouth that I just like, it's yeah. kind of, just kind of took a break from it all. But like I'm yeah. back now, kind of thing. I'm like I'm really excited to do a bunch of shit. I got like uh, great ideas. Well, I'm gonna say great ideas because they, they make me happy. But I got a lot of ideas for like <laughs> YouTube and how I'm gonna blog the gardens and all the things and everything that I'm doing. Plus, yeah, just so much. Oh my god. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and the Instagram it's... and the this end of that kind of thing. Right? All of it. Cooked and caffeinated. It's coming back. Like, but I just yeah. I enjoy it, man, yeah. but I don't. Now I'm at this point where, like, I don't care if a shit if I have a hundred thousand followers or if I have a thousand, as long as I'm having fun. I don't care if it yeah. reaches a, yeah. a million people or if it reaches 10,000 people, as long as it yeah. was like it was honest and it was me and I did it because mm-hmm. I wanted to do it and I was having yep. fun and it just touched somebody. Somebody watched mm-hmm. that and they were like, that was fucking cool. Thanks for that. That helped me with that. Yeah. Or whatever. Yeah. Like, cool. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I, I don't know. I, I kind of like I gave up on the number a long time ago, but it's fun. You know, it's cool to see it go up and it's cool to see all the likes and all the things that you get like when you have like wild traction. But it's yeah. an algorithm. Yeah, yeah. Like you can just yeah. fuck with that and figure that out. right? You can do all the things they want you to do and your page will go where it's supposed to go or sure, where sure. you think it's supposed to go. But yeah, as long as you're real, it'll 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 just happen anyway. That's kind of my thing. It's like. You don't have to focus yeah, on the number. Just like be you, just man. Be, People be, showed up be for you. you. That's why they're here. They yeah. uh, they see something in you and yep. just the way that you do things. So just like just do yeah. you, man. People yeah. will be it's, there for it. Yeah, yeah. You need to just yeah, like do you plus like iterate a lot. So like post a lot. Like and you'll naturally yeah, yeah, get yeah. better at you that. You need to post, then, yeah. Yeah. And then just with time, then consistency, yeah. Co- consistency, exactly. Yeah. You'll just it's a it's a skill yeah. and you just be yourself and yeah, yeah. You'll get better with every post come. and, you know, yeah. if you, especially if you're consistent. Like, pick a time. Like, for me in Newfoundland, it was actually important for me to pick a time as when to post. Mm. Because yeah. where we are, like, kind of just in, in the ocean there. It's so random. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I yeah. fall more in line with, like, like Southern America. So I had to learn when to post so that, like, people in certain parts of the States and Canada would actually see my posts because it would be supper mm. time for them. It would be a time where they were like done with the day and actually browsing whether right because i'm like we're so far in the future so <laughs> yeah get but out like, of the future you know, damn it <laughs> but i just had to be consistent i was consistent yeah. at that i was also like i do it a lot now but i didn't i used to not like curse or swear in my descriptions and i made mm. sure the hashtags i used were clean and they weren't you know specific like weren't specific to 420 or whatever like there's a lot of things you can do to make sure you're actually going to get out there if that's like you really want to like get out there there's a lot of like steps to follow you know what i mean but nowadays it's reels like just do reels be consistent 
people have a short time span. They just want to like get a blast of information and move on to the next thing. So if you want to be seen, reels, reels, reels. I haven't yeah. been doing them. I've just been doing like posts for the most part, I guess. <laughs> but you're just you're, you're just being real. I so I actually I'm just fired I away. Whatever. I guess that's my biggest thing, man. It's just be yeah. you. Like just be. If, yeah. if you're trying to be something, you're trying to be the influencer, and you talk like this, and you do your thing. It comes off disingenuous and people can see through it. Like it's just, it doesn't work. It just comes off as like, Ugh. that's yeah. a job yeah, for yeah. you. It's the character. It's not who you are. Just be you. Just yeah, do yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It'll be, it'll come off more genuine then. Yeah. And like, that's, that's such an important, important aspect to it, I guess. I, I feel like, so yeah, if you, especially if you want to connect with your audience, right? Yeah, right? Well, like, you know, I say that to people all the time. Like, you wouldn't show up and smoke a joint with me and be like, yo, yo, what are you smoking on today, fam? Tell me, what's that? <laughs> right? That'd be fucking right? weird. I'd be like, what the fuck? I'm not passing this What the fuck are you doing? You, what are you doing yeah. right now, right? When you meet yeah. me in public, I'm the same person I am on any of this, on any of these social medias. I'm the same person in person. Mm, right? That, that so, makes it a hell, hell of a lot easier, huh? Yeah, it's it's just not a character. It's it's just I'm fucking like this. <laughs> yeah, 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 I like right? it. I like it. I like it. I like it. Well, there's something else I was going to long winded and stoned all the time. <laughs> uh... Oh man, yeah. What else you got um, for me? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we. So you, I guess you've you've already touched on it a few times, but. Uh, YouTube, you're gonna be doing a lot, a, a lot on, on on YouTube. So you, I mean, you're you're you're, tw you're streaming on Twitch. Yeah, start streaming on Twitch and probably Monday we'll start that again. So playing nice. games plus doing cooked and caffeinated. Yeah, and then you have the um, the personal training stuff. The, the actual yeah. stuff. Personal yeah. trainer, and I'm gonna yeah, start yeah. doing yeah like videos of that on YouTube and some stuff here on the on the gram. Yeah, and then just yeah, quick, just the, tiny uh, everything reels, on the Instagram. Quick ones. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you Lots are you going to be on. doing? Are are you uh, looking to do any like cannabis related stuff on YouTube? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The YouTube thing is going to be like a whole. Yeah, there's going to be like a whole vlog thing I want to start doing about the cannabis and. Yeah, I don't know. I've got my, I've got it, I've got it in my head. I could see it. Okay. I like know how I want to edit it and put it together and how I want to shoot it and stuff. So it's yeah. not. Yeah. It's the same thing as like the cook the caffeinated. I wasn't going for like a specific topic. I'm just letting it go. Just letting it like you know. It's like it's, I don't know. It's gonna be a vlog, and I don't know how to put it. There's gonna be comedic touches and shit in it as well. Mm. yeah it's gonna be yeah. awesome yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. thank yeah. you <laughs> yeah it's, it'll be me that's all i know that's all i know how to do it'll be me it's gonna be however yeah. the fuck i just like i have it in my head i can see it so i'm just gonna need to I just need to put it out there now yeah yeah. so that's yeah. that's the plan so, for the summer yeah hell yeah um we just passed the two hour mark so i think we should we should wrap wrap it up yeah let's do it shut it so, down uh, man. shut it down shut me down yeah no, never, never. <laughs> ah! um, let let people know where. Yeah, so like in, Instagram and YouTube and Twitch. Yeah, Instagram. You, I mean, you can find me pretty well everywhere at Natty Nufi, uh, and also at Natty's Naughty Nursery. K N O T T Y Naughty. Mm. Not the yes. not yeah, the kinky yeah. naughty. Well, I guess kinky. Naughty. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, maybe. Yeah, yeah. How do you treat yeah. plants? How do you treat it's, your ladies? Yeah, well, I mean, kind of. I guess that's where the name comes from as well. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. I don't know. You can find me. Uh, you can find me on the gram at uh, Natty's Natty Nursery, YouTube at Natty Newfie, Twitch at Natty Newfie, and we're about to be very, very busy. And you're gonna, if you want, you want to see me, you'll see a lot of me very soon. <laughs> Very and, well. a, and an annoying amount to be very soon everywhere nice 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 cool well hey thanks for uh popping on the show today thanks for having me i know i uh i talked your ear off but that's kind of no that's know, the point you two did people good. getting to, get to know each other just bye here you are yeah, yeah, yeah every bit yeah. of it <laughs> yeah i like it i like it and there's we'll go have like a very so... calm day now <sighs> I know, yeah. Like that's, that's, a, that's a lot of words that came cathartic, out of my mouth. Cathartic, yeah, very cathartic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, and there's there's so many rabbit holes that like are still oh. left left 
uh, open. Yeah, yeah. Each each <laughs> yeah. like little tangent could have been its own episode. They were all so exactly. condensed, all the same. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I could talk my face up. Uh, that's why the social good, media stuff works, man. I could talk. I got the gift yeah. of gab. Yeah, and there's yeah, exactly yeah. You can you you expound well and like eloquently on a lot of this stuff, and it makes sense, and that's that's important. I think a lot of people are looking for, you know, someone to kind of make sense of of things, you know. To a yeah. Degree. Well. Yeah. 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 They're yeah. gonna turn so. that newfie off, and I'm perfect for social media. <laughs> nice. Nice. Cool. Well, all right, uh, cool. folks. I appreciate you all tuning in as well. Until next time, take care.